There was some, there was a Netflix uh, series and it was like American, not American greed, but like along those lines. And one of the episodes featured a guy that did payday loans and made like, I think his net worth was like 400 million bucks or something crazy Mm -hmm. like that. But they had done like some sketchy stuff with regard to like a, uh, a Native American reserve mm-hmm. and how they like funneled the money through there because it was like tax free or something. It was fucking weird, but they got, Oh wow. Yeah, interesting. He went to jail and it oh, was did interesting. He? Yeah. Uh, darn. You ever see that? No, I've okay. never watched that. They, they tried to do an episode on like Donald Trump being like, this guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I saw those. Uh, I knew that was a series. I knew Trump was one of the ones, but mm-hmm. I knew it was like some other random guys. Was Screlly in it? Yes. He was, well, I, he was like. Mentioned. He in, was mentioned. He okay, was, it wasn't the like pharmacy a, one. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like an episode about Martin, but fucking free Martin, baby. Free Screlly. Bring him back. Dude, he was funny. Didn't he ask, didn't he make a, his lawyers filed a motion to get him released early so he could, he could work on a coronavirus drug or something like that? I hope. I just we know can. that the fucking guy went on. Not like, the hero we need, <laughs> but the hero we deserve. I just remember the guy went on national television with a fucking Pepe the Frog pin. Really? On his suit. Oh, I never noticed that. And one of his lines on the fucking newscast was R.I.P. Harambe. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it's pretty good. <laughs> he he bought that one Wu-Tang album where they made an album where there was one of it. Yeah. And they would give you the distribution rights and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you're like, you can either sell it or you can be the only person who has ever heard it. Yeah. And he bought that. And he bought it. Nobody's and hasn't. It. Hasn't released it. Yeah. Sadly. He actually used to do YouTube videos that were financially related and like mm-hmm. how you would value companies and all this stuff. They were fucking phenomenal and YouTube took them down. Really? All of yeah. them? Yeah. I remember so. you telling me about those. They were unreal. He's man. actually was a smart investor and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. So He's worth yeah. a couple hundred million bucks. Couldn't keep him out of jail, sadly. But he did some securities fraud. That's what he's in jail for. Well, that's what they're saying, yeah. yeah. But I think there's, I don't know. Well, it was a weird one where they tried to make an example of him for doing, well, it was a scapegoat, right? It was, we need to, like, let's, you know, people are aware that big pharma companies, you know, jack up the prices of these drugs because they know the insurance company will pay for it or the mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Well, we can't take down the real big pharma, but we can find this small guy who is in the fringe enough that it's easy to make him look like a dick. Supposedly, it was actually running a pyramid scheme and had nothing to do with the pharmaceutical. Yeah, his actual charges were nothing to do with that. Yeah. Like, w- what he did was not illegal when it comes to the pharmaceutical no, stuff. He no. bought the patent on a AIDS drug and jacked the price up 700%. Yes. But pharmaceutical companies are doing that today, right? Oh, yeah. So, the... the And, here's the fucking... If you hate Trump, here's something that you shouldn't hate Trump for. He actually signed, fairly recently, some sort of anti-price gouging in the pharmaceutical world for drugs and stuff. Oh, really interesting. Yeah. 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 I huh. don't know the details of it. Okay. I'm just saying yeah. not, yeah. not a bad thing. Some of do. the stuff he's passed has been pretty good. Yeah. I know uh, he actually did a decent bit of prison reform stuff with Kim Kardashian and pardoning people and stuff. I, I don't know the particulars of that. Yeah. Um, I actually... Uh, <laughs> I heard this fucking because people keep talking about Kamala Harris and she, uh, cause she's a cop. Really? And she was, well, she was a DA okay. and I think she started as a cop or within a police force, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Um, but her thing, like she was, uh, one of her platforms in her lower levels of offices was being hard on drugs. So she's put a lot of minorities in prison for drugs Yep. And then I heard this comedian bit where I think it was Tim Dillon who's fucking dude. Tim Dillon is if Chris Farley and Joe Rogan had a child, or if Chris Farley had you know gotten his drug, if Chris Farley had gotten his drug habit together mm-hmm. and had a child with Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. it would be Tim Dillon okay. basically. Okay. But anyways, he's like, what are they gonna do in a vice presidential debate? Mike Pence is probably just gonna be like, good job, <laughs> right? Like, I don't know, man. There was something that came out today that Trump 
wants to do a, or Joe Rogan invited Trump and Yeah, Biden. I actually listened to the episode. It was with Tim Kennedy. Okay. Recent one. He's some military guy. Yeah. And then to, he's like. To have they, a debate? Yeah. Well, they were talking about like, it, it's a really great episode because they talk about how um, it, essentially it's this, um, well, a few different things, but where they were talking there was like, what are someone's actual ideas? Because mm-hmm. we're so headline-ish and stuff. Yep. Have them sit down in a room, you know, and talk. And then he was saying, like, you should do it, Joe Rogan. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it'd have to be. And Joe was like, yeah, it has to be, like, me and them and no one else. So it's not edited. It's fully live. And then we're just talking completely openly, unfiltered, if you will. Yeah. Because Joe Rogan has essentially moderated debates vaguely similar to that between people of opposing viewpoints, mm-hmm. right? So. <laughs> and he that said, sure. hopefully that uh, didn't <laughs> pull up on the thing. Um, and he said, like, yeah, I'd be down to do it. And, you know, Trump, uh, you have to know enough about persuasion to see where either Trump or Biden do smart moves kind mm-hmm. of thing. And Trump, by being like, I do it and jumping on it quickly, yeah. has painted Biden into a corner because yeah. it's... You're uh, a pussy if you don't do th- it. There's no... yeah. So if he does it, he'll be completely fucked, right? Like the man is, look, if there was a better, if The Rock was a Democratic candidate, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe go vote for him, Americans. We're Canadians. We don't have a fucking horse in this race, really, Mm -hmm. right? But like Joe Biden is mentally unwell. Like I say that for the- Straight senile. Dude, it's insane. It's, and like- He's like mid-tier Alzheimer's fucking senile. I saw a thing, I heard a thing today where he actually apparently has had- brain aneurysms in the past and has had surgery for them which i didn't know shit which again you know compassion for my fellow man like i hope you do better get treatment you need etc mm-hmm. can live a comfortable life but it's like don't make him president and that's not really a stamp on donald trump either because it's like he's <laughs> he's fucking funny but he's a bit of a lunatic too yeah. like it's just this whole fucking circus show There's and the, circus the big show. thing is is that people need to know like and this kind of goes for Canada too. Like the political establishment is such a like machine mm-hmm. and that machine wants to keep itself alive mm-hmm. and make money doing so. Cause that's what they do. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it's, it's uh, our democracy. Our government is not like the modern structure of it is not what it was meant to be. Right. Well, and also gain more power and can keep that power. Too, yeah, exactly. Right. 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 Yeah. Oh, we're know. fucking going to politics already. <laughs> ah, shit, man. <laughs> so, anyways, just uh, backtracking though to fucking Joe Rogan, like that would that sort of format is what you need for those mm-hmm, debates. Mm-hmm. Those debates are fucking sound clip central. Well, it's kind of gotcha moments, yeah, and then it's, well, the problem it's too was like, you know, um, c- uh, with the 2016 ones, the you could clearly see the moderators were. Um, decently against trump what yeah really um so to a point joe rogan is pretty down the middle enough and i think Mm. that's why he's done so well and why people from both sides like him Mm. is because he's very very fair yes to to left-wing people he's considered right-wing to right-wing people he's considered left-wing that's probably a good place to be to be have such a large platform i'd say Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. so i think and he's been you know he'll he would praise and criticize both sides pretty equally. And he, he mm. does so openly as it is. Yep. Right. So just his skills as an interviewer, I think he would be a good moderator for sure. Oh, absolutely. But don't fucking let Rachel Maddow or fucking yeah. the guy and gal over at CNN be the yeah. fucking moderators again. It's ridiculous. No. How do they even like, I guess they, they, they televise it. So that's how they get in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. Know. How do you pick, how do you pick who interviews the potential president right yeah. i don't know man those fucking debates for ca- the canadian election was that those last were, year already or, yeah those yeah. were ridiculous dude they were fucking terrible they were brutal everyone just starts yapping over each other yeah, yeah. and then you're like this is what politics is <laughs> it's a beautiful metaphor to have the five of them standing up there yeah where it's like you know as with a joke we've made before who invited elizabeth may <laughs> Block it, but quiet guy is here. He doesn't even go to this school, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. that's the shittiest party to be at. And then they're all just squawking at each other. I've, like, thought about it. I'd just be like, what would I do if I was up there? And I'd probably just fucking stand there. 
Like I don't. That would like, actually be a good power move to just yeah stand there quietly. Yeah, and be like, "Is it my turn?" <laughs> and, and then be let like, me know when it's my turn, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just kind of stay out of the fray, mm-hmm. and then just yep. fucking knock everybody else out of the park. Mm-hmm. Fucking vote us twenty. Vote pants party. Four, yeah. Twenty twenty three. That was a fucking yeah. Pants party. Fuck yeah. yeah. Bring yeah. back that shit. The rent is too damn high party. Yeah. Cocaine legal party or whatever. We had dis- this was a Matt Dimopoulos. We had discussed the pants <laughs> party. Oh yeah. Fucking, That's what the name of that episode was, was I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. I fucking remember that. That was good shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking good times. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know, dude. I'm Eh. I'm a tear the whole system down kind of type. It's not what it's, I don't know, George Washington. Was it a George Washington clip where it's like, you can't get rich off of politics unless you're corrupt? Yeah. I just said clip. It's not like clips around were around <laughs> in the 1700s. A quote? A quip. Perhaps. Perhaps I was trying to say okay. quip. 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 Quip is a good word. Which would be a quote. Not I used guess. well enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not used 